Hey, yo. Why, yes. I'm glad you asked. I do realize this is utterly futile and pointless. Let's continue. Uh, today, we're, I'm going to do a very short video on climate change and the hoax which it is. Basically, why people believe it is because a bunch of... So a bunch of evidence. I'm sure you're going to say people believe that is except human caused climate change because of a bunch of evidence. Let's see if I'm right! I know. I'm so silly. Socialist organizations and the government. Socialist. How about I read a letter to you? I shall quote. We support your effort to ensure meaningful and effective measures to control climate change, an immediate challenge facing the United States and the world today. If we fail to act now, it is scientifically irrefutable that there will be catastrophic and irreversible consequences for humanity and our planet. End of quote. 55. Multi-millionaires, a few billionaires, signed that. Including, right at the top, Donald Trump. That's right. Donald Trump, the socialist, signed that letter. You know who else signed that letter? George W. Bush. You know who have made similar statements in the past? The socialist, Lyndon B. Johnson, in 1956, said the same thing. The socialist, George W. H. Bush, said the same thing. The socialist, Ronald Reagan, said the same thing. Socialist, you're telling us these people are socialists. You're telling us that the United States Pentagon, the Army, the Navy, the Marines, the Air Force, they are socialists. Do you see any problems here with your hypothesis? some of their socialist organizations, basically goes to these so-called science groups. That's right. You know, when you're talking about science and 180 years of geophysics behind human-caused climate change, the very quantum physics involved that were worked out in the 1920s and the 1930s, if you talk about science and you go, science, that just negates all of that Effort. You don't even have to address it anymore because if you go science, that just magically makes all of the scientific inquiry behind human caused climate change and indeed climate on Earth in general just go away conveniently. Groups and or companies and they say, hey, look at this thing called, uh, we're going to call it global warming. Yes, scientists call the warming of planet, since it is a globe, specifically an oblate spheroid, global warming because it is warming globally. What else would you have people call it? Flat disk warming? Look into it. Tell, tell us if it's real. And if it is real, we're going to give you lots and lots and lots of money of funding so that you can uh, keep researching it and give us more details. So, your hypothesis is that to be wealthy, you become a geophysicist. You spend four or six years studying geophysics. You study quantum physics, you study atomic physics, you study thermodynamics, you study all of these subjects, really hard subjects, you learn calculus, and you rack up a massive debt in pain for your education. And you are saying, oh, well, there's funding out there that will, you know, pay all these people their expenses for their education plus vast sums of wealth if they happen to conclude human-caused climate change is a thing. This is your hypothesis. Like your previous hypothesis, do you see any problems with this one? 
what do you think those organizations are going to do? Of course, they're going to say it's real. They want lots and lots and lots of money. Uh, if organizations wanted lots and lots and lots of money, they would say human-caused climate change is not real. They would not say human-caused climate change is real. By the way, where did all of the ice that is missing go? Well, here is a fine example of a glacier in Glacier National Park. What do you mean you can't see it? Try harder. No, I mean harder. Still can't see it? Gosh, maybe that's because out of 150 glaciers at Glacier National Park, there are 26 left. Where do you suppose they went? 